Just were marked teen, and I said, "Well, what's the difference?" And he said, "Well, these are cut smaller for underdeveloped girls." And I said, "Tim, well, you know what? If the girls can't fill out the costumes, they don't need to be wearing the costumes." Yeah, you said when we bumped into each other in the makeup room that it was really eye-opening uh, to see that because you, you hear about it a lot. But we also saw some of the websites, and these are some of the outfits. These are this is a Halloween costume for tweens, and we're talking eight to twelve-year-olds. And that one has a bare midriff. The other one was a, was a dragon lady. I mean. And there you got major flirt. Yes, ma major flirt. You know, hemlines are higher, necklines are lower, midriffs are exposed. And again, you know, these aren't for just adults, they're for kids as well. And the funny thing is, the little girls like wearing these costumes. They actually fight with their parents and they want to wear these things. A lot of people are saying, a lot of parents are upset. They're saying, well, we don't have options. But there's some kids out there that are like, look, I want to look like Brittany, I want to look like Lindsay. You know, people are blaming the hypersexualization of the culture. Right. They see these young girls working the pole in their videos. They see these girls running around in skimpy outfits on TV, and they want to look like the stars out there. And as a are, result, are there any cool costumes. options out there for kids that are not that are really not showing too much? Well, you know what? There's a happy medium. What a lot of people are doing, they buy the sexy costumes, but then they layer. So sometimes they'll put on, you know, a T-shirt underneath, so the tops aren't as revealing. Or they will they will wear leggings, so you're not seeing the full bare leg. And that's the happy medium there. But as far as is, you know, sexy costumes disappearing, it's not happening anytime soon. This is a big, big business right now. It's and still not cool to be a ghost. It's not cool <laughs> to be no a ghost. No cool to be a ghost. It's or cool a to be a sexy ghost. <laughs> But no floor length gowns, up to the knee or higher. And some of the costumes, we were talking about it earlier. There's a pizza slut costume out there for a sexy delivery woman. There's a, <laughs> there's a sex bucks. Instead of Starbucks. Instead of Starbucks for a sexy barrister. So there May you go. May I ask, are you planning on dressing up for Halloween? Um, I think I'm going to be a sexy CNN correspondent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you got the costume already. Good for you. Lola, thanks. John?